Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders. So we need to go adventuring. We also need to make a dressing room, a changing room, whatever you want to call it room. And I'm going to make it right about here. So we're going to have a little bit of fun with this pretty quick. Um, let's see here. It's gonna be one, two, three, four across. So it's gonna be right there. In the meantime, I need to... I just need to destroy this room for a moment. It's gonna make everybody's lives easier. So I'm gonna turn the I'm gonna turn this room, this kind of back room, into the actual kitchen, which does mean I need a door. You guys made me any doors, of course not. Doors, 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 doors. Do I have any? I do not have any doors. Oh, so when you're making something, you can look and uh, shows number held over there on the right. That does include the number in the town. So if you see a number there... There we go. Uh, so if you see a number there, then you at least know that somewhere in this town... There's a friggin' thing. Okay, so we got a little room there. That's gonna have to be the dressing room. I forget what exactly we needed for that. We needed the armoire. Uh, what do we need for that? We need three wood. Two... Three. And then we can go make our armoire. Armoire is going to be a big old son of a gun. Um, what else did we need? Hey, Pippa. So, two stone stools. So, you know, let's just go one, two. Then it's also got to be an actual room. Which means we need a light source. So, boop. Yeah! Pip is so excited. Everybody else is excited. They get to go in and change clothes. Look at those clean clothes they're putting on. Yeah, look at him change into an identical pair of clothes that's just a little cleaner. Proper night outfit, yeah! And Pippa even made herself a cute dress! Look how cute that dress is! Look how cute that dress is! I mean, when you've got to wear rags. Yeah, look how cute that dress is. Yeah. Okay. So, um... What was I going to say? I'm gonna eat this plumberry, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, like, when you can't build 
You can't make clothes. You can't make food. That's... Uh, I think somebody even mentioned that, like, what do you even eat if you can't make food? Leftovers? Crap that's laying around on the ground? That's like when Pippa showed up, we were eating... Well, these. The plumberries that just fell off the trees. Eating them straight, as, like, right there. The clothes we're wearing are all just tattered rags. Probably stuff you found somewhere, or... ...draped a piece of leather over you. Like, you couldn't make anything, so you had to make do with what you found. And that's rough. But we got that, and now everybody's wearing clothes! Look how fancy they all look. Yeah. Okay, now we also have a couple of other quests. So we gotta go adventuring. Now, we spent like half the day doing that, so I'm gonna take a pit stop over here and take a nap. Take a nap over in my home away from home that I kind of want to destroy the roof of so I can get in and out of it easier. Just get far enough away from that skeleton and he leaves me alone. Alright. So with that done, we can go on! Onwards. Outwards. Specifically, we are going back over into this corner. There was, like, down the cliff, down on the other side of the hills. I'm guessing these count as hills, really. As far as Dragon Quest lore is concerned. So on the other side of the hills, there was this little bit of grassy space. With a big old weird thing in it, so we're gonna go down and we're gonna check that crap out. And we're gonna hope this skeleton leaves us alone. It probably won't. In fact, just to make things easier, I'm just gonna... Solve that problem right now. Oh! Okay, so I need to not be cornered. So these guys are going to be unnecessarily annoying. Okay, killed one. Killed two! Got stabbed! Killed three! Alright, now it's just me and the big guy. Let's just go four. So this is where um, our guard guy, whose name escapes me, told us there was a monster that did something fancy. And look at that. We did. Kenelm. All right, so we're gonna have to go back and talk to him in a minute because we may have learned something from that and not quite put two and two together yet. I'm sure we go back to town and he'll show us what we learned. There's also a secondary home away from home over here. If we fix it up. Now it does need to be a complete thing, which means we gotta come over here and break this rock. So we can make a room. And now we can take a nap if we want to. So some notes here. Hmm. That sounds like a pretty rough place. So we need to keep going. Because there's more stuff over that way if we can get up there. 
So what's the easiest way to be? Gonna be. Not where I wanted to put it, but whatever. I don't like jumping around corners like that, but man, you do what you gotta do. We did it. Now that we're up here, we can kind of take a look around. Looks like there's something down there we may want to check out. Climb a mountain just to go back down the other side. Oh man, mushrooms! That's good eating. Man, what are you guys doing over here? I mean, that looks pretty alright, a little haphazard, but... No, eclectic is the word. I gotta learn how to make a shovel. What's your story? It's pretty all right. I mean, if you're into that kind of thing. Yeah, that's probably where you need that shovel. If you have to ask somebody else for help, I don't think you're going to win a competition, a gardening competition. Like, what are you going to do if you get hired? Like, oh man, I won. Now I'm going to get hired and do a garbage job because I don't have the constant help of the person who helped me get here in the first place. Okay, so there's not a lot going on over here, so we're just going to keep... Powering on ahead. Maybe eat some plum berries. Plenty of mushrooms. I'm not, I'm not bad on mushrooms right now. Okay, so we can go around either way. Ah, eh, let's go. Let's go this way. Maybe. If I can get up this, I think we'll be in business. Jeez, dude. I'm walking here. Hmm. You can jump by all the skeletons. A uh, little bit of dirt here? I don't think there's a... Ooh, there's something over that way. Right, let's take a quick glance over here before we go towards the fancy thing we saw. Just in case there's... Wheat! Just in case there's a cave or something over here. You never know. Did get wheat, though. Wheat's cool. Got water down there. I'm not seeing much else, though. So I guess... Wow, jerks. Always good to have plenty of wheat. In case you gotta make some bread, eat some food. Okay, so we did see fancy things over this way. Oh yeah, that's fancy things. That sure is fancy things. Sure is fancy things. Hey, person, how you doing, guy? You're standing out here wearing nice clothes. I sure can. What's wrong?
I mean, I guess. You sound a little lazy. You can't just do it yourself. Boop. 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 And boop. And a boop. I did it. Oh no. They're here. I'm gonna hide. Uh huh. Look at you idiots. Standing there on the spikes and you can't break stone. Hey, jeez. Hey, dude, come on back. Haha, <laughs> a bunch of idiots. That was pretty all right. Oh man, more guys. Oh, you were dead. And you know, this, uh... This thing works pretty well. So I'm just gonna take a wager... ...that you're dead too. Uh. Something like that. And you know, it's fun. book. So funny thing is, if you look at a world map of Dragon Quest Builders, it does match up pretty much I straight up uh, with some, I guess, changes for the passage of time gameplay, uh, to the map, the world map from Dragon Quest 1. And the location of this castle, if memory serves, there's nothing here. It's just planes. And that makes sense when you hear this story, because this castle wasn't built until after the events of the first Dragon Quest. Oh yeah, that was that golem I was talking about. The guarded... That's rough. Okay, anything fancy over here? Doors! Give me that door! I like fancy doors, man! else fancy around here? Dead guys. Bed. You. 
Um, oh man, it's like the middle of the night. I don't have an easy way to rest. I'd like to spend the night, but that's gonna be hard. So I guess we're just gonna have to do this the hard way, which is at night. It's fine. It's not any harder than doing anything else at night. It's just because it's, you know, at night. Okay, so we gotta climb up top, and we're gonna have to do that our own way. Because there's no real good way to get up on top of this castle, given that it is so decrepit. Hey, door. I don't think there's anything if we keep going. I'm just gonna go through the door and see what happens. So we go through the door, there is... Got a little room. Ladder. And roof of the castle. That's cool. I thought that was a book, but it was just a lit thing. Okay, so we're not going that way. I mean, technically I could go anyway. Hey, I remember you, you're that guy. Hard to see at night. Why is that my responsibility? I just want to build crap. I guess everything does kind of intertwine. Like... You want to build stuff, but why are you building stuff? You're building it to help people. And if you want to help people, there's other there are other problems. Oh, I didn't mention this before, but whenever you see a dark chest, like this one was, you cannot open it. Um, you have to do something in order to trigger it to be open-able. That's our chest over here. Just in case you want to get home pretty quick. So if you want to keep going, um, you can, or not so much keep going, but if you didn't go up the staircase that I went up, if you kept going, you can also take a staircase up over here that takes you to this one. And takes you up over here. You don't get anything extra for it, it's just kind of, hey, by the way, you can do this. Now for the real challenge, which is getting down without killing myself. Come on, Tofu, get up there. Whoo! My light flashed before my eyes there for a second. Okay, so we, for the most part, though, we're having a pretty alright time. So we can get out of here. Ooh, king size. I'm gonna take it. All these little stools and stuff, like, I want to raid this place, but I don't know what I'm going to use most of this for. Um, anyway, before we go back, because we're more or less done, we even got the, um, the thingamajigger. Before we're done... Let's see here. Yeah, we got the designs, but we... Yeah, the map does still keep going in this direction. So let's take a quick glance out this way and finish off looking at the map. 
There's not actually a ton more out here. In a cave. Sometimes you get nice things in caves, like meats. And dirt. Oh no, it keeps going. Coal! Coal vein. I mean, that would be cool. I don't really need coal. Mostly I'm coming in here to look for... Some of these uh, have chests and stuff in them, and like, boy, I'd like me some... I'd like me some chest. Oh, hey, how? Oh. Ah, yeah, look at that guy. Just kind of chilling over there. Also, a big old place over there we can't get to. Yeah, hi, how you doing? Another dragon, so that is two. Count them two dragons we have seen thus far. And we're wearing copper now, we'd probably fare a little bit better against him. But that's also the end of the map. Um, I said there wasn't much more here, and there really isn't. Um, coming from the castle to here, that's really it. So I don't need all this crap on me. But I do need one of you. Later, weenie. Alright, we made it. So we've gone on some adventures, and I'm gonna say, until next time, everyone, we got us a guard we gotta talk to, and fancy things may happen. We got us a Rolo that may, we may wanna talk to, and fancy things may happen. And we got fancy outfits. Look at all those fancy outfits everybody's got. Why don't I have a fancy outfit? Oh, because I'm probably wearing fancier outfit than everybody else already. 